<laughs> the reason I'm laughing is because one of my guys, Jordan, he said, I don't think I ever heard of any other team fan base hyped over signing a third safety in my life but the Ravens. He said, not a starter, a backup, LOL. And of course, yes, us Ravens fans, we've been getting excited. Over the potential of a third safety joining the Baltimore Ravens. Who that safety is going to be though? No clue. No clue right now. We've heard so many different rumors. There's so much going around right now. And we're going to talk about that shortly. But to get us into it, leave a like on the video. Click the thumbs up button. And also subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. So you don't miss rumors like these or any other news that goes on with our favorite team, the Baltimore Ravens. So the latest rumor that's been going around. I can't confirm it or deny it because I haven't seen any actual source put it out. But it's that Eddie Jackson, safety Eddie Jackson from South Florida, by the way. Hey, if it's true and he visiting, y'all better not let him leave without no contract. Since he from down here, oh yeah, he, he's a perfect fit, man. Perfect fit. And he from he from down here, so you know he's gonna make plays. You know, you know he's gonna make plays because everybody from Florida, especially South Florida, on the Ravens, they make plays. But anyway. That has been what's been going around recently. People were saying that Eddie Jackson was going to visit with the Ravens. I, and I waited today. I waited an extra long time to make a video because I was waiting on the transaction report. It comes out every day at 4 p.m. So I was like, all right, are the Ravens going to list Eddie Jackson as visiting with them today? Ain't see nothing. Ain't hear nothing. Ain't read nothing. Bunch of nothing. So I don't know. I don't know. But again, if this is true. If Eddie Jackson is visiting the Baltimore Ravens and he they, they are very interested, if they are very interested in him, then I'm cool with it. Reason being because he is somebody that has started in this league. He's somebody that's been solid as a safety in this league. And for that third safety, again, y'all know my preference. Y'all know who I want to be that third safety. Y'all I'm, I'm still waiting on Justin, man. I'm still waiting on Justin Simmons. But again, if Ravens go a different route, okay, we'll see. It's to be determined. But what I want in a third safety is somebody who's versatile, somebody who has plenty of starting experience, somebody that's coming in ready right here, right now. Let's go. I'm ready to play, ready to contribute right away. I know the NFL. I got plenty of experience in the NFL. I ain't too old NFL, but I'm old enough. That's somebody who I would want. And again, and I think that's somebody who the Baltimore Ravens will want. They've continued to prop up Ardarius Washington, like we said, all offseason. We've been seeing it all offseason. they like, Ardarius Washington, he could end up being that third safety. Ardarius Washington, he's in the lead for that third safety. And I get it and I respect it. And I mess with Ardarius Washington heavy. But I just don't see the Baltimore Ravens putting him in that position. Again, not to say he can't do it. But just the Baltimore Ravens that we know, that's not typically what they do. They're going to want somebody. Because, again, with the third safety. the third, and again, I'm thinking about what my guy Jordan said, laughing at us Ravens fans. But with that third safety, they're going to be on the field a lot. With that third safety, one of the biggest reasons why us as Ravens fans are so hyped. Look at that. I'm over here knocking my mic out the way. But one reason why we are so hyped and excited about it is because we just want Kyle Hamilton to continue to do what he does. What does he do? Everything. Where does he play? Everywhere. We don't want him being stuck in this little box as a strong safety. We know if he was stuck in that box, he would do well, but... He does even better for himself. He does even better for the entire Baltimore Ravens if Kyle Hamilton is everywhere. That's the Kyle Hamilton we want to see. We don't want him stuck in sort of the, the, the Chuck Clark box. And that ain't no shot at Chuck Clark at all. But we want the Kyle Hamilton that we've seen who's so versatile, who's playing as a safety, who's being a pass rusher, who's being a nickel corner, who's doing all these different things, covering all these different people, covering the entire field. That's the Kyle Hamilton that we want. We want him to continue to be unlocked. So getting that third safety allows us that much more flexibility. That's why we're so hyped over it. That's why we're so excited over it. That's why we're thinking about the potential. And especially if it's somebody that's really good too back there. Ooh. And then on top of that, somebody who, even if they solid, being around Marcus Williams, being around Kyle Hamilton, and really just the rest of the entire Baltimore Ravens defense, it could make them even better. Baltimore Ravens, 
Y'all need to make a decision soon because training camp is less than literally around the corner. Now, speaking of safeties, I was confused on this earlier, and I know a lot of y'all might have seen the same thing too. But it was said from the San Antonio Brahmas that with their seventh round pick in the UFL college draft, we have selected Bo Braid from Maryland. And one of my guys sent me that, and I was like, I, what's going on? Because I don't know how that works. How can he be drafted by the Brahmas if he was drafted by the Ravens? And I'm like, I don't even know what to say. But uh, my sports update that did clear it up for us with a different player because he talked about how rookie uh, QB Sam Hartman was drafted in the ninth round by the Birmingham Stallions during today's UFL draft. He said if Hartman doesn't secure a spot on a 53-man roster or the practice squad, he could play in the spring for Birmingham who now hold his UFL right. So I would apply that same logic uh, to Bo Braid. So if he doesn't make the active roster and doesn't make the practice squad, then he will be able to go play for San Antonio Brahma. So that, that, that cleared that up. Because I was wondering, like, how can you be drafted there if you didn't get necessarily drafted to the Ravens, but you did get signed as an undrafted rookie free agent. I think I might have said he got drafted earlier. My apologies. Let me clear that up now. But he was signed as an undrafted rookie free agent. So if he somehow does not make the roster, I don't expect him to make the roster. Again, because the safety situation is very is deep and i expect it to get even deeper because again marcus williams kyle hamilton or darius washington for now and we expect him to add somebody whether it's eddie jackson or it ended up being somebody else but we expect him to add somebody else now so there's not really much room for bo braid there's a practice squad though practice squad is where i think he got his best shot to make the team so time will tell now this is very interesting because this goes directly against what i was just saying a couple of minutes ago that is still my opinion but we'll see how things shake out jeff zrebic who is literally the best baltimore ravens beat writer he is amazing in everything that he does we love jeff zrebic over here i know all of y'all do too but anyway in his article today he talked about his predictions for the Baltimore Ravens 53-man roster. And let's jump down to the safeties because these are the safeties who he said he thinks right now, as of right here right now, are going to make the cut. Marcus Williams, of course. Kyle Hamilton, of course. Or Darius Washington, of course. But he said that he thinks Sanusi Kane and Bo Braid both make the cut right now. And I will say, oh, okay, Jeff. Well, again, that's different from how I look at it because, again, I'm still anticipating them signing another safety. But I don't know, even with them not signing another safety as of right now, I just feel like it's going to be really hard for Bo Braid to make it. Um, I think, again, more practice squad, I think. But, hey, let's see what Jeff had to say. He said, the biggest question is, do the Ravens add a veteran safety at some point during training camp? Boom. So that's we all on the same page with that one. He said there are several quality options available and Baltimore is young and thin behind Marcus Williams and Hamilton after losing Geno Stone in free agency. Facts to consider. And this is the one that has just been so frustrating and just so heartbreaking, too. He said Marcus Williams didn't have injury issues with the New Orleans Saints. <laughs> he sure didn't. But he's missed 13 games in two seasons since coming to Baltimore. That is another reason in my opinion, that the Baltimore Ravens have to add somebody else. They have to. Because with Marcus Williams, you, you, you of course, want to go into every season like, oh, anticipating that he'll be healthy, anticipating that he's going to play through the whole season. You don't want to be planning for injury, but at the same time, you got to plan for injury. And it sucks, but it's a reality. Uh, it says, Outlook, if the Ravens continue to use Hamilton in the slot and matchup situations, and why wouldn't they? They need a reliable number three safety. It isn't clear whether that player is currently on their roster. They like Washington, but he's just five foot eight, 180 pounds, and has been used more as a slot corner than a safety. Bo Braid, an undrafted rookie out of Maryland, gets the nod for the final roster spot, largely because of his potential on special teams. Jeff, we're going to see about it, but things will definitely remain interesting throughout training camp.